welcome to sunny Auckland. Uh, this is uh, the next in our series of, of coaching shorts. We're going to make this really short, uh, trying to make it about two minutes long. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so, so we're going to do this ball placement drill, do it the same way in the same drill, but we're going to look at the ball placements. This is probably the most common placement, what we call the staple, okay? So we're looking at the guys using their abs once they're on the floor to reach up place the ball as far away as they can. So in this drill, slightly different, what we're looking at is players who get dominated totally. In this case, you'll see the player, he gets dominated and driven back. He's falling back and placing the ball in pencil placement. And the second player here makes some distance, but then gets driven back and does the, the, play, the uh, pencil placement. So a couple more, and then we're done. So in this, in this drill here, same drill, but the next placement is squeeze ball. Uh, we're allowed to do it in New Zealand, um, and you'll be allowed to do it at various age groups um, around the world, but there's some places that you can't do it, so you'll have to know your local rules or your national body rules. So with the squeeze ball, we're pushing the ball out through the legs. Now finally what we're looking at is unacceptable ways to place the ball. This one here, the guy ends up on his back with the ball up and he has the ball stolen by the, by the jackler. I'm going this way, the player's lazy and hasn't reached and placed the ball uh, far enough away from his body. So I'll watch three or four more of these and you can get the idea of what we don't want. Don't want to be turned turtle on our back with the ball up. Don't want to be lazy in our ball placement, not placing it far away from the body. Two more. 